it's a great fixture. You know, I'm sure they'll bring, you know, plenty of travelling fans. It'll make for a, a good atmosphere, and uh, fingers crossed, a good game. Uh, Leeds, uh, a te- former team that you've su- supported in your past, a uh, uh, Yorkshire lad yourself. Um, does that make it any any special? Yeah, of course it does. You know, with family and you know many friends supporting the uh, Leeds United. You know, I'm sure it'll be split. You know, uh, around our family and our household and. Uh, over the next weekend, but uh, fingers crossed that we can get a result at the weekend. Um, Leeds, obviously one of the bigger teams in, in the division as well, going really well. Does this challenge get you excited, get the team excited, get the squad excited? Because the record is fantastic at home as well. Yes, of course it does. You know, there are a number of teams who will come to the DW who will go and you know, kind of face away as well in this, in this league. Uh, already we've seen the, the challenges and kind of the intensity that the Championship throws at you. And uh, you know, Sunday will be no different. You know, I've managed to watch Leeds um, you know, quite a few times this year against different opposition as well and the intensity that they play at and with uh, you know, in and out of possession is very good. So uh, you know, for our lads, I'm sure they'll look, after, you know, look forward to it um, and it'll be a good test for them. In the last couple of games, unfortunately, we had a, a bit of a stumble. Uh, looking back at the Sheffield United game, how do you assess it after a, a week or so? Um, obviously, the, you know, people look at the results. You know, we'll certainly digest and, and dissect the game itself. Um, you know, barring kind of individual errors and uh, you know collectively ourselves, I thought we give a good good account of ourselves uh, on the day. Um, it could have easily been a different result. Uh, it wasn't, so we're not uh, not silly. We you know we're totally aware of that, and uh, you know it's certainly things that will uh, you know post match that the manager, myself, the staff, the players that are coming here, and uh, you know we'll try and be certainly educational. We're better for the next time. Yeah, and certainly in the last two away games, you've had opportunities, haven't you? Yeah, certainly. Um, and again, you know, like I previously said, this league will throw that up. It's it's really fine margins. I think you'll see that in the, in the points within the league. You know, I think uh, you know just a, just a small number of points split. You know, ten, twelve teams, um, and in in most games, you know, we've had our chances to go ahead and possibly win the games. Um, uh, you know, fortunate enough, we have done in a few. Um, but it's it's a process, and it's something that we're learning, and uh, you know, certainly coming strong. Strong towards the end. Uh, that was the question I was exactly going to ask you. How much of a learning curve has the championship been for, for you and Paul? It's exactly what I thought. It's, it's very good. Um, every single manager, players, teams, um, environment throw up its own, its own tests. And, uh, you know, certainly our lads are, are up for the test and, and they're working tirelessly, not just obviously in the, in the games, but through the week as well. You know, they want to be uh, in this league. They want to be educated and, uh, and, and test themselves against the best players. How much have you had to reevaluate what you do in terms of your, your philosophies, your formations, your tactics, and things like that over the season? I think you just constantly do that anyway. You know, regardless of uh, of what level or league, you know, you constantly re- reevaluate yourself and try and be better for the next time. And you know, certainly, that's what me, myself, the manager, has done for the past you know eight nine years. And uh, you know, we'll continue to do that because you do want to improve yourself and uh, you want to be at the at the, the highest level possible. So uh, certainly, we're not finished yet. Um, do you think it's affected? I mean, your your home form so far is fantastic, best in best in the division. But has that away form maybe over the last week tempered that tempered the confidence that you're going to have at home this week? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, no, I don't think so. I think if again um, ourselves, we we will dissect the games. Um, certainly away from home, the Aston Villa game we played well. Stoke we played well. QPR Norwich played very well. Sheffield United, you know, again we played well. So. We're giving a, a good account of ourselves in the main. Um, it's just them fine margins that will come and, and the lads will get the results that, uh, that, that they deserve. Uh, and that record that you've got, is that important for, I suppose, the record's sake itself? Or do you want to keep home form just because it's, you know, just want to keep winning? Just want to keep winning. I yeah. think it's, it's uh, you know, at the end of the season, you'll get a certain amount of points, whether it's home or away. People try and make a... Um, certainly statistics are, are huge in the game at the minute because you know people are, are kind of trying to bombard the game with it um, but you can dissect it how you want you know at the end of the league at the season sorry you get a certain amount of points whether it's home or away and uh, you know we'll, we'll be where we deserve to be uh, and what do you make of Marcello Bielsa? Very good um, you know I've got a few friends obviously who play for Leeds as well um, you know the likes of Liam Cooper and, and so so you know I speak to him quite a bit um, with the Certainly, with the press that he's gotten, um, you know the training regime that he, that he actually puts forward, it, it seems very good. You know, it's no secret. A lot of the big managers have spoke very, really well about him, and uh, you know, it's no surprise that Leeds have been quite strong from the beginning. I managed to watch the first game of the season against Stoke. I thought they were breathtaking. Uh, 
So, you know, they've continued that few injuries, but uh, it's like I said before, I think we'd, we'll certainly be a match for them. Yeah, they do have a couple of injuries, uh, defensive injuries as well. Do you, can you take advantage of that, do you think, this week? I think with any, any team, if they're missing, you know, the, some starters or big players in, 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 a, in a game, it's, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a benefit, but Leeds are a good, still a good team, they're a good squad, so whoever comes in for the, for the injured lads, they'll be a good, you know, be a good test for us. Uh, and of course, they, they have been um, vulnerable at set pieces, Blackburn managed to take advantage of that, is that something that you're looking at this week as well? Look at every aspect, certainly, you know, it's, it's, a, it's something that we will look at, you know, like we do with every other game, we'll approach it as confident, you know, as, as most games, and the lads will, will go out there with the specific jobs, and uh, you know a game plan to try and win the game. Fine. How, how are you? How are your injuries? How's Nick Powell, Gary Roberts? Uh, again, we're we're assessing them daily. Um, so you know we'll certainly have a meeting after, after this morning, and and see how everything's progressing. So fingers crossed. They've got a chance there. Fingers crossed. Yeah.